morning everybody. It's just Francine here again in New Zealand. I hope you're all well today. Um, I hope you enjoyed seeing Fred on Tuesday. <laughs> uh, he's a bit of a worry as our Fred. Um, but anyway, today I'm going to show you how to use the stand, but also um, how to use them in many different ways. I want you to be able to have a go at making one of these. Good morning everyone. Hi Patricia, nice to see you this morning. Um, now you're up in Northern Ireland I think. Nice to see you. Hello Mary. How are you going down there? It's lovely to see you too. Um, and so what I thought I'd do is I'm going to show you a couple of options on how to use the stand that we made. Now if you haven't got the aluminium rod, you can use, um, oh gosh, dowels, wooden dowels and spray them um, or nice strong straight sticks. But I, because I like the clean line, that's why I'm using these aluminium rods. I reuse these over and over again. Oh, hello, Joe. Sorry I couldn't make it down here this week. Uh, nice to see you all this morning. So anyway, I'm going to show you a few options before we actually start doing this other design. So before I soak that foam, I'm going to bring this over. Now some of you have seen me make this before. This is made out of loofah. <clears throat> but you can make this out of all kinds of things. And what I wanted to show you is the fact that all you've got to do is just slide it through the gaps onto your rods. And you can embed test tubes into this. So I'm going to show you some options before I start the big one. So I've got to might take a little bit longer today. but. And you just slide it on, and there's some ugly dashes in there, and then you can bring this either across or take it out to give it a bit of space. I might just take it out, put it there like that. Put a few test tubes in, and you've got a really cool contemporary design by putting flowers in along this layer with some test tubes tied on here, and a couple more in here, so that's one concept. Um, if you've got them where you can even bring it so it comes down your rod and put a few test tubes in these, you've got another look like this. Uh, just wanted to show you, some of you have made these mechanics and I want you to see that you can reuse them over and over again. So that was one concept. Now another concept is this one here that we made by making the bubbles. Hi everyone. So what you can do with this one is you can just slide that down, down here, get that one to go in through that piece of, piece of paper just in there, slide it down, move them around if you have to, and then tie that on and a few um, test tubes in here and you end up with another whole look to have an elevated design. So it's about reusing some of the mechanics that you've made. Hello to Cornwall, lovely to see you this morning in Dorset. So that's just showing you another concept of being able to use these rods. So um, always reuse your mechanics, so put them somewhere nice and safe where they're not going to get damaged and you can reuse them over and over again. Uh, so now what I'm going to do now is I'm going to, we'll start this design. So I've just got my container of water and I've just made a little block of foam. And the reason is because I've got a little wire cage here. So I'm just going to drop that in and let it sink to the bottom. And I'll just show you how to attach this. And then I'll show you the big one that I've already pre got the mechanics done for that one. Um, so these ones look amazing, really, really tall um, and big entranceways, uh, big on stages, the, for churches or uh, mosques, wherever you want to put your flowers. These are really cool designs to do for that, especially the incidentary ways. So I'm just going to take that out. Now I did say about using some of the um, floral, uh, the, what have I got here, the clean film. Now we call this glad wrap in New Zealand. Hello Christina, lovely to see you in the UK. Nice to see you, oh gosh, you're all from all over this morning. It's lovely to see you all. So I said to use some clean film, um, we call it glad wrap. And what you can do is you can pre-wrap your your um, floral foam if you don't want it to leak. I meant to grab an aspidistra leaf and I forgot to get one. So I was a bit a little bit rushed this morning. I, I decided to build a new bench, you see. It didn't quite go to plan. We went pretty good. But then my husband was like, oh dear, fun. So I'm like, it'll be all right. But it paint and fix anything. So you cover it up like a sandwich. And then what you do is you slide it into your into your cage and the reason is with that is it stops all the water leaking down when you want to go in from underneath so I've got a bit of excess water there and I've squeezed it in Just wipe that down on my bench so and then what I'm going to do here is I'm going to line it up onto my rods now I've got some U glue dashes here that I'm going to use and I am just going to find my skewer so I can line this up and then you can either tie it or you can shish kebab it on so I might try and shish the rabbit on, put that on there, slide it into that one, slide it on. Let's go through the glad wrap there. 
let it slide down. Now you're going to get so weighed and you're going to think, oh, it's not going to hold. So what you do is you grab a couple more new glue dashes, which I've got down here. I've got some strips that'll do. And just put these little bits of new glue on here because it will support it. So take it back up, put your new glue dash around here. That'll rest on there and give you enough time to be able to grab some wire to wire it on now. And this is going to hold into place. Oops, are those you glue dashes, they stick to everything, don't they? They're great, but they're very sticky. Uh, right, so now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to come in through the cage and I'm going to tie it around the sticky belt and go back up, tie it round and then come to the next one. Go through, tie it. So this is a really good mechanic to learn how to do. And this is, I wanted this design to look like it was going to float. So what I'm going to do is just go right round here, get these all lined up. take it round and now you're ready to go with your mechanic and your flowers can get built and designed and through there so that's just how I start when I'm going to use fresh flowers sometimes you don't need the glad wrap you can use an aspidistra which is actually nicer to use because you can thread through it so you bring your aspidistra in from underneath and pop it on the top so that's just showing you how to make that little one there but I wanted to show you the big one so I'll just make a bit of a tidy up here of this and I've been out and I've gathered my flowers this morning don't need that, my recipe always keep my recipe handy so this is the big one that we made well Fred made the other day and this is showing you just, you can keep now the, the higher you go the thicker you're going to have to go in your aluminium rods, um, if you're doing a massive big installation I would suggest you go to quite heavy tube but a really heavy base um, you can use Hebel brick or you can make a uh, concrete block into an old plastic tub and then just insert the rods in there, let it set and that's also ready to go. But this is just my one here, so I've got my foam suspended in there and then I went around and I had a look in the garden this morning and I wanted you to have some aspidistra leaves. Now why I like doing this one too is because I can come in and feed in from underneath. So I'm going to just put my fats headers in here. So remember, always give it a friend. I'm going to bring that one down in, bring this one down a little bit. Put some more up in here. A couple out through this way. These are, I've wired these, so I'll show you how to do some wiring for the new ones that are just joining us. And it's lovely to see you all this morning. So I'll turn that round so you can see what I'm doing. Just in little groups of two. Another one up and through here. I'll turn that one around there. Right, what you do is when you're wiring, if you haven't seen me wire before, I'm using 22 gauge wire because I want it quite strong. I come up uh, a third of the way up the back, in the middle of the vein here, just a third of the way up, take your wire through, you can feel it slide it underneath with your finger, slide it through, bend it down to the neck, bring your hand down to the neck, pinch tight and go around twice and go around again because I want to spike these in. I'm going to put my trusses. And that means then I can bend this any way I want to go. Sometimes it's really interesting seeing them on the back of the leaves, the texture that's on there, so you can fold your leaf over. So I'm just going to pop these ones in through here. Bring them out a little bit, because I've got some other leaves of interest. Now I need to take a few up through the top here to take my eye through. So one up the top there, give it a friend facing the other way. That in. Right, so now we've got that all there and you're thinking, oh goodness me, Francine, I'm not happy with that one, so I'm going to cut that. Put that one back in. That's better. I want them to sit out a little bit, don't want them too flat. Give it a little bit of depth. So you've kind of got your base up with your main leaf there. Now I've got here some of the uh, geranium, and I really like this. It's a new one that I bought the other day with the dark rim. So I thought we'd put some of these in. They're quite strong, but you can wire them too if you want to. I'm giving it a textural contrast now and also adding a bit of pattern that's on the leaf into these, into the design. So I'm just going to give a little grouping. Pick one out through that. So I'm coming to this side. So now I'm going to repeat that and bring two in from this side. Bring that around in there. Make sure I can see what I'm doing. I've only got a few of these because they were quite special. And then after that, I've lost my flax. I don't know where I've put the flax. I think it might have fallen out of the basket on my way in this morning. That's okay. We'll use something else instead. So just taking the geranium leaves in like so, and it gives another whole look. And make sure when you're doing them, you just don't go 
plonk, plonk, plonk. Think about a pattern. So I've got two coming here, one in through the centre here, and then my eyes coming back out through the other placement. So it's giving a nice line. It's not just sort of coming bitsy. I like things to have a bit of a pattern. Same with my fat cetera. Placements here, my eye comes right through and I've got placements here. Likewise here, my placement, and it comes right through. And I work on the angle. It makes it much more interesting when you're designing. Hello to Ireland. Lovely to see you this morning. Do you spray the leaf shine on the Aspidistra? Um, sometimes I do, but I don't like leaving it really thick though, Joe. I like to spray it maybe and wipe it off. But in the garden, they're normally nice and shiny anyway, so I try not to use too much sprays on things. These ones have not been sprayed. They're just shiny out of the garden. So now what I thought I'd use is I'm really just getting down to the dregs of what's in the garden. I've got some really cool flowers coming and they're nearly ready and I've got my white waratah. So when I go to use that and then maybe hopefully next week at the demo I'll use that one. If it's ready, it's rather stunning. So um, I thought you might like to see that. Now these ones here I'm going to bring down and out. Let's bring my eye down and out. And again I'm going to do that on this side. Bring another one down through there. Now this is just a little camellia I've got in the garden. And again, we need to take our eye through so it doesn't look like I've just got a couple of wings that don't relate to the design. I'm just going to cut that one down a little bit. Put the nail there. Put that one in. And a little bit to come down through this way. Taking my eye through, just bringing it down just a little bit. I'm not sure I'm that happy with this placement. If you're not happy, be careful when you do change the placements. But I want my eye to come down rather than out too much. So I might have to do a bit of hairdressing skills here. Take that down just a little bit. Pop a couple of those in through there out the back. So I've got repetition and unity. Put that in through there. So just, again, bringing it through. Uh, now what else have I got? Look, I went around and I said about some transitional flowers. So these are going to be my main flowers of the camellias. Now I've glued the back again with the cold glue, which is going to get them to hold. Um, and then I've got some of my my lovely Haliboris and I'm using those because well I've got heaps of them in the garden and also I've got here some Paris uh, Japonica now this one's Temple Bells my favorite so I gathered some of that as well it was really just seeing what was there we've had a few storms go through so I've my flowers are just getting a little bit damaged but went through and picked out the ones that weren't too bad so now I'm going to put in a few of these and these have all been treated with the quick dip so they're going to hold beautifully put another one there a little flower in through there Another one out through here. So whatever I'm doing on this side, I'm going to do on this side. And then I'm going to take a few. Just cut these a little bit. Yep, just a little bit shorter in on the sides. I'm going to call these the sides. Put one in there. A little bit of colour coming through. I decided to use a little bit of a pink one that I've got at the moment. So taking it through. Just a little bit coming down. But you could make this quite a contemporary piece by using less of the busy material and just using quite strong forms if you've got them. You can use proteasm here as well, but just be mindful of the weight that you've really anchored your mechanics well into your into your frame so that they don't it doesn't get too heavy and all fall down. I hope this one doesn't, but this one should be okay. I've been very careful with these mechanics this morning. So again, just putting some more of the Haliboris in. So it comes down a little bit. A little, little bit more than that. I just felt like doing a flower. Some days you just like to do flowers. This is a very cost effective way if you've got a wedding or a event to do. You can pre make all these, have them all ready, and then just pop the foliage in. Um, and then the next day you can put your flowers in because the foliage will hold. So if you're thinking, oh, I've got all this work to do and I haven't got the time, just break up your designs. So do your foliage and all your base in one day. And then you can just keep them hydrated and then the flowers can go in the next day. It's what I just had a girl here yesterday, I was talking to her about making sure that if she was getting a bit overloaded with what she was doing, break it down into achievable bits. And I've been getting requests on how to make a garland by using a piece of rope. So that'll be another one that I'll show you how to do. So again, just putting the Helleboris in. I love how they just, I just love the movement of Hellebores. They had a little mind of their own, but that's a good thing. Another one out 
it's better happier with that maybe one more I've got one here can't leave it on its own right so I'm going to tuck those in now I might want to bring through a little bit of the Paris now but I'm not going to make big I don't want it like big heavy I don't want it to overtake what I'm doing because the flowers of the um, camellias are going to be my main flower so that's what I want to show off but I'm just bringing that little bit of white Paris in and it does have a little pink tinge so Turn that around just so you can see. I'll just put a little bit more in. So I'm chopping this up into quite small bits. Get that bit hanging down a little bit. This can hang down and come underneath. Turn that around again. So you can see with a little bit of the Paris on there. Um, it's always good if you're going to use um, white to try and bring a little bit of another form of white through your design so it doesn't look like it's a because white's so dominant it'll just stick out if you don't make it. Uh, have a few extra bits of white in there to give it a bit of unity. I just like to put that bit in there. Again, another little bit. Just take my eye in. A bit of Harrison through there. A little bit in through this side. But whatever you've got, you could do a spring one. And I've shown you how to use bulbs before. So you could always use storms here too in Northern Ireland. Poor guns. I know, Laverne. Isn't it terrible, these storms? You think, oh, my garden's nearly ready to go and pick, and then blow me down, the storm comes through and blows them all over. It's like, oh, all my daffodils got all knocked around the other day. So, oh, and who have we got here? Is it Dottie in Georgia? Lovely to see you, Dottie. And Paula, hi, Paula. So, yep, so now I've got my Paris in there, and I've gone all the way around. I just get make a bit of a clean mess here. Make a clean mess. How can you make a clean mess? You can make a mess look clean. Not really. What about an organised mess when you're designing? So there we go, we've got that one there. So to me this looks quite pretty just the way it is, but now I want to add a few of my camellias. So these are the camellias that I've been and picked in. Like I said, a little bit of cold glue around the back will stop them from falling out. Um, now we have the heads pop off. I'm just going to put a few of these in here. And these are my main flower, but whatever you've got, Pop one in through there. I need to give it a frame, so I'm going to put one up the top there, take my eye through because white is so dominant. And I'm putting the bigger forms to the there you go, put the bigger forms to the top like that. Another couple in through here. And then we'll take that butt off and go with that butt on there. Put them on a bit of tissue so that they, when I had them drying, it stops them from um, sticking to everything. So turning them face down delicately on a piece of tissue will stop them getting marked while the glue dries. Bud, cut my flower, put it here, put it in, oops, and hit that one in properly. So, I think I'm going to put one more, where can I put that one? I picked it so I don't want to waste it. I don't want it. Mm. This is more, more is less. So again, we've taken that around now, so you've got your lovely camellias in there like so. But any flowers that you've got, but it's the fact of actually using this lovely frame and, and it's about the space and underneath. So if you're doing this on big tables, it's always good to be able to see the person on the other side. Most of the time it's good to see the person on the other side. <laughs> um, so anyway, I'm going to do this here. Maybe a bit of a chuckle to myself this morning. Uh, now what you can do... I don't know why that came about, but somebody was trying to ring me. <laughs> so I've just uh, reset the phone. So uh, so I've got a little bit here. This is Pandaria, um, and it's beautiful. And I'm going to just put a little bit of this vine to come down. Now, the beauty is why I wanted to have it where I can get from underneath, is I can just put that little bit of vine, 
coming in from underneath. A little piece like that, just a little bit coming down. And then I've got somewhere here, I did have a light. Oh, here we go. So you can put the light on here, turn my light on, and you can bring that down and in through your frame and in through your flowers and then you end up with a really nice entertainment piece coming in through like that with a little bit of the light on there. I've had to move the camera a bit this morning so I'm sorry it's going this way, it's just so that you could see the height of this design. Now if I wanted to also I could add some of these. I've got a couple of specimens I want to bring down. So these here are some lovely glass bubbles that I've got, the hanging bubbles. Okay, I'm going to just put a couple of these in, let's put the wire through. Oops, a dozy. You don't have to have these. I'll tell you what's really good, some of you are really struggling, so go through your Christmas decorations. You can use Christmas baubles, they look quite cool hung down like this. And then you just come in through here and just pop it on, bring it through your design. Oops, that's not going to go that way, I'll have to come in through underneath here. Might use a kebab stick on this one, or a mossing pin. Might use a mossing pin. Let's take the mossing pin around with your wire. Just wire it onto your mossing pin. And then you can come in from underneath. Let's see if I can come in from under here. Bring it in. Pop a couple of these little glass bubbles coming through, and you can bring some of those through, which I think looks kind of cool. If you're doing a Christmas one, looks really good. Another one that just goes a little bit lower. Right them up here. Put it around. Put it around my mossing pin. Again, get your little bubble here. Put it around your mossing pin like this. it on, make sure it's nice and tight so you don't end up losing your bubble, you don't want to go losing your bubbles, and then put another one a little bit lower so we can put that one in through under here, so it sits into the frame, and then you can just fill them up with water, do the other one up with a bit of water, make sure you fill them up properly, I won't do that now, I can do that a bit later just so you can see what I'm doing, and then you could use some specialty flowers and pop them in through here and bring your eye down if you wanted to do it or you could just leave them clear like that well i hope you enjoyed that one this morning i think i'm, th I'm glad you like this one patricia it's a really good one to and once you've got your mechanics that fred showed you the other day you can do so much with this option um, and just reuse them over and over again and it's something you can have pre-made and do as a club event so with all your floral art groups, I know some of you are doing um, Zoom meetings and things, you can all have a go and then put them all together when you all catch up again and have all your friends together. So how's that for, a, for an idea? And don't forget to always give it a friend and uh, everybody take care and I hope you enjoyed that. Any more questions, please don't hesitate to keep contacting me. I'm very happy to help where I can and I hope you all have a wonderful day. Uh, Fred's gonna show you how to make a mechanic out of the wire, make the little cages out of some wire. Um, the wire that I asked, uh, that I suggested was using this here, um, and you can make the little, oh, that's the, the wire here, I'm trying to think where I am, um, and showing you how to make the little cages, so once you've got them, you can tie them on. It's really good to use cages when doing this because of the plant material, it helps support it, and holds it nice and firm in place. So everyone have a wonderful day, Please take care out there. You might see Fred making that little cage over the next couple of days, but I'll be back again next Thursday, and he's hoping my white war uh, waratahs are out so I can show you. Have a wonderful day, everyone. Take care. Bye for now.